I like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Peace and safety to the hopefully let all the Akim scattered across the four corners, pushing his word in sincerity and in truth. All right, this is another edition of Drop the Mic. And what I'm going to go into in this edition is Ezekiel chapter 9. All right, and it's going to be a quick hit because you have Israelites out there uh, pushing that doctrine. All right, which is which is the doctrine of devils. All right, that this is a black thing. All right, but this is about the Lord's elect, and we know the truth of the matter is that the Lord's elect is scattered to the four corners of the earth. All right, these are the ones with the Father's name written in, in their forehead. Okay, and and the Lord is not not dealing with all Israel. The Lord is coming back to destroy the majority of Israel. But these guys push that doctrine so they can get people to join a movement. All right. To get uh, uh, followers, man. All right. On, on, on YouTube and to get some kind of fame off the Lord's word, man. And, and, and money, too. OK. Uh, this is Ezekiel chapter nine and verse four. And the Lord said unto him, go through the midst of the city. Through the midst of Jerusalem, and the hymn is referring to the angels when you read up in the chapter, and set a mark, all right? And that mark is referring to the elect, the ones who will be uh, exempt from judgment. Let's get a precept um, in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 5 and verse 1. And it says, run ye to and fro through the streets of Jerusalem and see and know. See and see now and know and seek in the broad places thereof. If ye can find a man, if there be any that executeth judgment that seeketh the truth. All right. And you have a lot of uh, guys amongst the circumcision. All right. Uh, that's not teaching the truth, man. All right. And the majority of Israel is not seeking the truth. OK. And I will pardon it. All right. Therefore, they won't be exempt from judgment, man. All right. And I'm going to read the judgment in Ezekiel. Uh, verse five. Salakia. I'm going to read four again. And the Lord said unto him, go ye through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem and set a mark. Now, we know that mark uh, means to be part and to be exempt from judgment upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. All right. So only the elect, the 144,000 will uh, be exempt from that uh, judgment. All right. That I'm about to read. All right. Only the 144,000 will be pardoned. Why? Because they're the only one that's seeking the truth. All right. The majority of Israel is not seeking the truth, but these guys push that uh, push that doctrine so they can get people to follow and join a movement so they can get money and popularity, man. All right. Off the Lord's word. All right. So they're not seeking the truth. All right. Verse five. And to the others, he said, in my hearing, referring to the other angels, like I said, when you read up in the chapter. All right. And read it in context is referring to the angels and to the other angels. He, he said, in my hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. All right. And this is referring to Israelites. All right. This is not referring to the heathens. So the Lord is commanding the angels to smite and not to have pity. All right. Upon what? The majority of Israel, those who are not exempt from judgment, those who do not have the father's name written in their forehead. OK. Verse seven. And he said unto them. Uh, Salakia. Verse six, slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. All right. This is for these guys that want to uh, play on Israel emotions like this word is for for all Israel. All right. These people are not seeking the truth. So this is judgment from the Lord, man. All right. When you see these uh, wicked Negroes. All right. These ni wicked uh, nigger women. All right. Getting trodden down, man. That's judgment from the Lord, man. OK, that's the deaf angels. All right. And we're reading about it right now. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. All right. And women. OK, but not but come not near any man. All right. Upon the one hundred and forty four thousand upon whom is the mark who's exempt from judgment. Why? Because the Lord is going to pardon them. All right. For their sins, man. 
It's not that they don't sin, but the Lord is going to pardon it. They're exempt from judgment. All right. Only the 144,000 with the father's name written in their forehead. That's the mark. That's the seal. All right. And began at my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient men. All right. Referring to all you old uh, uh, Negroes. All right. That's out there. That's supposed to be elders. All right. It's referring to you old guys that's supposed to be elders, all right? Supposed to be teaching men uh, the truth uh, 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 according to what the Bible is saying. But you guys are pushing these doctrines of devils, man. These lies, these hypocrisies, man. Why? For filthy lucre, all right? And for popularity. So it says, and, be, and they begin referring to the angels that he commanded to go smite and slay, all right, Israelites. Women, kids, old, young. All right. And began at the ancient men, which were before the house. All right. And basically, uh, uh, that's the point, man. OK. And he said unto them, defile the house and fill the courts with slain. Go ye forth. And they went forth and slew in the city. All right. So so for these guys that's playing on Israeli motions. All right. Uh. Uh, this this uh, black and white thing. All right. Really, man, to be honest, this is a, a, a about the righteous and the wicked, man. All right. We know Esau is the wicked, man. The so-called white man is the wicked. But the majority of Jake's, man. All right. They're referred to as the wicked, too. OK, they're wicked, too. Why? Because they're not seeking the truth. So therefore, the Lord is not going to pardon their sins. All right. They don't have that mark of uh, being exempt from judgment. All right. That's only for the one hundred and forty four thousand, man. All right. And I uh, hope you brothers was, was edifying with that. I'm going to say Shalom.